Drones are everywhere in India. Marriages on farms, making deliveries, shooting aerial shots, and monitoring routes. India's drone market is around 1.6 billion dollars. Thousands of drones operate daily. They are efficient and convenient. But here's the problem: over 90% of these drones are unregistered. Most come from China. On February 2022, things changed. The government of India banned foreign drone imports. No registration, no exceptions. The official reason: national security. But something doesn't add up. The ban happened. Still, Chinese drones. are available everywhere in indian markets and are being sold for double the price and people are still buying them so what's really going on why did government ban drones if they can't enforce the ban is this really about national security or something else making such videos takes a lot of effort and this video was made possible by lemon the investment app drones didn't start with these sleek and high tech designs earlier drones were basic and experimental built for military purpose during world war 1 In 2000s drones started being used for commercial and consumer purposes. Drones help spray fertilizer, monitor crops and analyze soil. They can cover more than 50 acres in a day which will take days for a farmer to cover manually. Police and military forces over India use drones for surveillance. It helps them monitor large gatherings and track suspects. And BSF have started patrolling borders with drones on difficult terrains. In fact, Telangana government launched medicine from sky during COVID to deliver vaccines to remote villages. Drones are being used in every sector, but more than 90% of drones still fly without registration and are technically illegal operators skip the required permissions nobody tracks who flies what and where the government launched the digital sky platform for registration but only a few people registered on it and the major problem is most of these drones come from one chinese company DJI DJI dominates with 70 to 80% market share their Phantom and Mavic series are the most sold drones in consumer segment but why do people prefer this chinese drones a DJI Mavic mini drone costs 45 to 60000 rupees we have indian drones in the similar price range but DJI drones fly longer they have better camera they have better stability and they get regular software updates DJI has built a complete ecosystem spare parts service centers online communities and youtube tutorials for everything currently no indian company can compete with DJI So even if we are paying 15 to 20000 more for it it doesn't matter consumers get better tech and product the ban in february 2022 the dgca stopped registering foreign drones the official reason government gave was national security poor kashmir mein aatanki hamla karne ke liye ek naya hathiyar istemal karna shuru kiya hai aur wo hai drone the drone blast is a well planned conspiracy the reason seemed logical you see Every DJI drone connects to Chinese servers. It uploads flight data, shares GPS coordinates and transmits video footage. The Chinese government could access all this information and easily map Indian military installations and other infrastructure. They could gather intelligence without any spies. The 2021 attack proved that drones are a major threat. Terrorists can modify commercial drones and easily use them as weapons. So, the ban seemed logical. but the ground reality was completely different traders started smuggling these in demand drones from dubai even after the ban you could find the dji drones being sold openly delhi's nehru place mumbai's lamington garden bangalore's sp road walk into any electronics market dji drones are openly displayed on shelves prices increased slightly but availability didn't change much without official channels the gray market boomed no warranties no official support but drones kept flowing in buyers now take more risks they pay premium prices and get no after sale service but they still chose stylish drones over indian alternatives the government lacks resources to enforce this ban effectively customs can't check every package and can't monitor every border crossing they cannot raid every electronic shop in the country the ban exists legally but it fails practically so if the ban doesn't actually stop chinese drones what is its real purpose the real reason The actual reason for this ban is economic protection. The government wants drones to be manufactured locally as part of Make in India and Make India Drone Manufacturing Hub. To make this possible, government has offered incentives and created many schemes for drone startups. The PLA scheme offers 120 crore grant for drone manufacturing and companies get financial incentives for hitting production target. The Drone Shakti initiative gives funding and mentorship to new drone startups. The government is trying to make commercial drone use easier and boost demand for Indian drones. Because of these schemes, many Indian Indian drone startups have come up. Idea Forge, Garuda Aerospace, Throttle Aerospace, Asteria Aerospace, and many more. Companies like Bharat Rohan and Garuda Space are leading the agriculture sector. They show farmers how they can use drones for better yield with low cost. Even Swiggy partnered with NRA Technologies and Garuda Aerospace to test food delivery drones. But here's the problem: Indian companies still depend on Chinese components. Most companies just assemble drones from imported parts. The flight controller, sensors, and cameras are mostly imported from China or Taiwan. 
components produced in India don't match the quality. Also, drone motors need powerful magnets and China controls 80% of global rare earth supply. Indian companies have no choice but to import. Chips, processors, gyroscopes, everything comes from China. India's semiconductor manufacturing has just started and it will take time to manufacture advanced tech at a bigger scale. Indian drone manufacturers push for the import ban because right now we cannot match DJI's tech. The price performance gap is too much. Chinese drones offers better technology at lower prices. Indian companies need time to catch up. DJI produce millions of drones every year. Indian companies just produce thousands. This scale difference affects everything. Cost, quality, software and customer support. The ban protects Indian industry. But it doesn't solve the fundamental problem. Protection gives local companies time to develop. It creates jobs and reduces foreign dependency. But protection also creates inefficiency. It reduces innovation pressure and allows inferior products to survive. It leaves consumers with bad options at higher prices. The security threat is real. Nobody disputes that. But it's not the complete story. India faces an economic choice. Protect domestic industry or expose it to foreign competition. China chose to protect. They have their own version of Google named Baidu and Baidu Maps for Google Maps. WeChat instead of WhatsApp and Yoku for YouTube. They have an alternative for everything. So, where does this leave India's drone story? For India to genuinely build drones, many things have to change. We need semiconductors, advanced tech, and rare earth materials. And Indian companies need to invest billions in research. China built its technology through decades of investment, learning, and competition. They started with copying and then progressed to innovation. India has to do something similar. What do you think? Is protecting Indian industry the right approach or should we focus on building genuine tech with more open approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe to Case in Point for more such content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.